Hey friends, starting 1st November, we have another big IPO of yet another technology company. It is the IPO of PB Fintech Limited, popularly known for its two internet products, Policy Bazaar and Pesa Bazaar. The IPO size is 5,625 crore and company is launching the IPO at a valuation of rupees 44,000 crore. So we'll quickly look at the business of the company, its promoters, key strength, competition, financials, and then the IPO details along with valuation. Finally, we will decide if this IPO is worth investing or not. All right, let's get started. PB Fintech Limited has two online platforms. First is Policy Bazaar, which is its flagship program that was launched in 2008. This platform basically helped the end user in selecting the right insurance product. So Policy Bazaar is an online insurance aggregator or in other words, an insurance marketplace where you can explore the insurance product from all the major insurance companies. So end consumer can do the pre-purchase research by comparing various insurance product, then purchase the insurance product and it also provides the post-purchase policy management. It is the largest insurance marketplace in the country with a current market share of 93.4% in terms of total number of insurance policies sold in FY20. Now that's a huge market share. As of March 21, this platform has a total of 51 insurance partners that represent 87.9% of total licensed insurers in India. Together, they have offered over 340 term, health, motor, home and travel insurance product on Policy Bazaar platform. As of March 21, over 48 million consumers have registered on Policy Bazaar platform and they purchased over 19 million policies from the insurance partners. Second platform is your Pesa Bazaar that was launched in 2014. This platform basically provides various financial services including all type of loans. For example, your personal loan, car loan, home loan, education loan, gold loan and so on. It also provides the platform to apply for credit cards as well as check the civil score for free. So end user can compare the various loans and credit cards from different lenders and shortlist the right lender. As of FY20, Paisa Bazaar has partnered with a total of 54 large bank, NBFCs and fintech lenders. So in short, PB Fintech has two digital platforms, Policy Bazaar and Paisa Bazaar that addresses the online insurance and lending market. If you look at the total premium from insurance policies sold in last three years, its total premium has grown from 2,315 crore in FY19 to 3,758 crore by FY20 at 62.3% growth and then to 4,701 crore in FY21 at 25.1% growth. So premium has grown at a good rate in FY20 but it has slowed down in FY21. If you look at the promoters, Mr. Yashish Dahiya and Alok Bansal are the founders of PB Fintech and Mr. Yashish Dahiya is the chairman and CEO of the company and Alok Bansal is the whole time director and CFO. Please note that none of them hold a significant shareholding in the company. Mr. Yashish Dahiya has 4.2% shareholding and Alok Bansal has 1.45% shareholding in the company. If you look at the future growth, company claims that the market for insurance product in India is estimated to be 7.6 lakh crore rupees in terms of total premium in FY20 across your life and non-life insurance and is expected to grow to 39 lakh crore by FY30 at a CGR of 17.8%. Now that's a very high growth rate. The Indian insurance market is highly underpenetrated with the life insurance market penetration in terms of sum assured as percentage of GDP of only 24.6% as compared to 265% in USA and 95.4% in China in FY20. Again, in terms of health expenditure, India's health expenditure per capita is one of the lowest in the world with 63% of health expenditure being funded out of own pocket in 2018. It means very few people have opted for medical insurance and that too a very low amount of health insurance. Interestingly, in FY20, only 1% of total premium was sold through online channels in India, which was much lower as compared to 13.3% in USA and 5.5% in China. So the overall insurance market in India is looking underpenetrated and has a huge scope of growth. And within this, 
the online insurance market is expected to grow at a much faster rate. Now, as far as the lending business is concerned, India's consumer lending market was 32.8 lakh crore in FY20 in terms of outstanding loan balance and is estimated to reach 78.1 lakh crore by FY30, representing a CAGR growth of 9.1%. Despite the large market size, India's lending market is highly underpenetrated and stood at 16.7% of nominal GDP which is much lower as compared to USA at 79.2% and China at 55.6%. In FY20, Pesa Bazaar was India's largest digital consumer credit marketplace with 51.4% market share based on disbursals. This represents a huge opportunity for Pesa Bazaar platform as well. Apart from online platform, company is also expanding its presence in offline channel and as of June 21, company has set up 15 physical stores and intend to develop 200 physical retail outlets by FY24. Company would also expand its product offering by adding more insurance and lending partners on its platform. I believe that one of the most interesting aspect of digital platform in insurance and lending business is the huge amount of consumer data. As of March 21, over 48 million consumers, that is close to 5 crore consumers, have registered on Policy Bazaar and its online platform has received a total of 126.5 million visits. This provides them with a rich consumer behavior insight and a competitive advantage over other insurance distributors. Interestingly, company is also planning to expand its business in international market, starting with Middle East and operations in Dubai. I think that after COVID, there would be high awareness about both life and non-life insurance and that would also drive the market for insurance sector. Moreover, India is a growing economy and the lending business of loan and credit card would continue to grow at a very good rate. So in terms of future growth, I think that there's a very bright growth prospect for PB Fintech with both platforms Policy Bazaar and Pesa Bazaar. So there's no doubt that the future growth prospects are bright. But if you look at the competition, there would be a strong competition for PB Fintech. All insurance companies, banks and NBFCs have their own digital platforms along with a very strong distribution network of physical stores. I think that Policy Bazaar and Pasa Bazaar were able to capture the online market due to their first mover advantage. However, today every bank, insurance company and NBFC is focusing on digital platform and today consumers have multiple options to explore the insurance and loan market using online platform. Not only that, there's a huge surge in your new age fintech platforms that are now offering insurance and loan related products. For example, Paytm also offers insurance and loan related services. Then recently, I came across the news that PhonePay that started as a UPI payment service has now launched insurance products on its platform. I think in the future, there is going to be a very intense competition as all fintech companies are trying to become a one-stop solution for all financial requirements. And that creates a huge competition risk. On top of that, since PB Fintech is a technology-based company, there will always be a risk of technology obsolescence. If you look at the growth ratio, company's revenues have grown from 528 crore in FY19 to 957 crore by FY21. If you look at the profits, company is consistently in losses. In FY19, it made a loss of 346 crore. In FY20, the loss was 304 crore and FY20 loss was 150 crore. Company has clearly mentioned that we expect our cost to increase over time and our losses will continue given the investment expected towards growing our business. So there are high chances that company would continue to post losses in the future. Since the company is in losses, both ROE and ROCE would be negative. Although company is completely debt free, which is a positive sign. PB Fintech IPO window is between 1st November to 3rd November. Its IPO price band is between 940 rupees to 980 rupees. Face value of each share is rupees 2 and market lot is of 15 share and minimum investment is 14,700 rupees. The IPO issue size is 5,625 crore and out of this, there's a fresh issue of equity of 3,750 crore and remaining 1875 crore is offered for sale where promoters are diluting their stake. The 3,750 crore raised from the IPO 
would be used for enhancing the visibility and brand awareness, expanding its consumer base via offline presence, strategic acquisition, then expanding in the international market and general corporate expenses. In terms of market cap, at price band of Rs 980, the company would be valued at around 44,000 crore rupees. Now as far as valuation is concerned, since company is loss making, we can't use the traditional PE ratio metric. If you look at the price to sales metric for FY21, at the higher price band of 980, its price to sales stood at 46, which is very high. And considering the fact there is no visibility of profit in the near future, it is going to be a risky bet for retail investor. Just for reference from grey market point of view, this IPO is trading at around 15% premium in grey market. But remember that grey market premium changes frequently based on sentiments. Overall, PB Fintech is in the business of online marketplace with Policy Bazaar and Pesa Bazaar. Company is the leader in online insurance and lending business and there is a huge scope of growth in both insurance and lending business in India. However, there is a strong competition in fintech space and it would not be easy for PB Fintech to retain its high market share. Moreover, company has reported losses in last three years and do not see profit visibility in the near future. Considering all these factors, valuation of rupees 44,000 crore looks highly overvalued to me. I think that company has already factored its future growth in the current valuation, so there is not much scope from the near term return perspective. It is only advisable for high risk takers to apply for this IPO. Personally, I believe that such valuations are due to the current euphoria in the market, especially around the internet companies and hence promoters are encashing this opportunity. Although these companies have great potential, but the valuations are extremely high. Personally, I would give this IPO a miss due to its very high valuation and no signs of profitability in the near future. What is your take on this IPO? Will you apply? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to learn every aspect of money management, including how to pick right stock, mutual fund, insurance, tax planning, etc. You can explore my complete online course with 100 plus videos and join my 7000 plus learners. Website details are available in the description. I'll see you in next video. Till then, take care.